Okay, what we're doing today is a wine tasting. This is the second annual wine tasting for the Ludlow Civic Club. We um, had one last year, it was very successful. It was something a little different for Ludlow and that's what we were looking for. Um, we, were, we were a brand new Civic Club last year um, and we had done a boat cruise for a couple of years which people loved and we had done Christmas parties but we wanted something different and that's our goal I think overall is to find different and new and exciting things for Ludlow. Ludlow is a small community but we're growing and we're, um, the people here are very involved with the community so they want new and interesting things to do. So we'll see. We, today we have our second annual wine tasting and we have an overcast sky so we're all a little bit nervous <laughs> but as long as we can get through this next few hours with no rain we will be extremely happy. Um, to my right is Ken Wynn. Wynn is our, Ken Wynn is our mayor of Ludlow and um, he's the person that got the Civic Club organized. And, um, and to my left is Vanessa, Vanessa Alder. Alder. Okay, and Vanessa's brand new to the Civic Club, but she's very excited and she's been a great help today. So um, we are always looking for new members out there, if any of you are interested in joining us. Um, what I have found about Ludlow, I've only lived here six years, in that if you ask somebody in Ludlow to do something, they do it and they are excited about doing it. They like to be involved. The Civic Club, when we had formed this last year, basically we wanted to provide community events. And like Connie has said before, we did the Riverboat Cruise. We were doing St. Patrick's Day night at the races. Um, we, were, um, we had a derby party and now the wine tasting. And like we said, we just kind of want to keep the community involved, and we figured by doing that is to provide these community events. Basically, we're having the Knights of Columbus, um, the, the wine tasting here at the Knights of Columbus grounds. Um, it was established back in 1914, and it's been a center of community um, events um, from, from the day it was established and up to the present time. Um, it's a great organization. They do a lot um, with Catholic charities. They do a lot with children and um, we have formed a relationship with them um, to provide these community events and we're very thankful for the Knights of Columbus and what they have done for the Civic Club. One thing we would like to also uh, let people know that we are open for other vendors. We have a lot of vendors that are down here today but we're certainly open to more so if you're have hobbies, crafts, uh, anything that you want to bring to our attention, you know, please get in touch with us. Uh, we're always open for new ideas. Other than the wineries, and we do have three wineries with us today, but other than those, we have um, artists. We have Mike McGuire, Tom Gaither, Jude Krieger, Steve Jenkins, who is new this year. Um, he shows his work at Essex Studios in Cincinnati. We have Dale Voker also, who's a Fort Wright photographer, who will have some work on um, display here today. And we have Gail Label, um, who also is an artist and will be here today. Uh, we have lots of, besides the artist and the book uh, authors, we have um, a lot of community organizations here too. And um, they are, we have the Israel Historic Society, we have um, Saints Boniface and James Parish. We have um, the Ludlow Historic Society, which is different from the Israel Historic Society. We have Bromley Christian Church, um, Ludlow Garden Club, and Robin Donovan, who is here to um, show some of the uh, property that's for sale in Ludlow. We're proud of our property and we want people to know that it's a great place to live and there are houses here available for sale and the KFC will he be here also.